What's good, everyone? Yeah! This is Double R Killing, part 14 to Pokemon Tang, and here we're gonna face off against gym leaders Kyle and Lisa. Um, yeah, so these guys are psychic type gym leaders, I guess. As you see here. And um, this is this was by far probably the easiest uh, gym leader gym leaders. Um, the easiest gym leaders next to you know the first gym leader, which was uh, Roxanne or or whatever her name. Is. Yeah, I think it was Roxanne. Or, I'm not sure. Well, the first it was it's it was easy as the first gym leader, but the first gym leader gave me problems. This barely this uh, gym battle bar barely gave me problems. I didn't really have to prepare for it. It has some strong Pokemon, like uh, ESP Espeon, as you see here. But nothing really too too difficult for Double R. This was a tag battle. I thought it was going to be hard, like the other tag battle with, um, what's his name? The fighting gym, the third gym leader? No, the second gym leader. Nate, yeah. I thought it was gonna be as hard as Nate, but this was probably easier. I mean, in this uh, this battle, I basically used the combination of uh, Gardevoir and um, my Skeptile, mainly because um, Gardevoir, I. I I used the TM Shadow Ball for Gardevoir, so since Psychic types are weak to Ghost type moves and whatnot, it would probably be easier for Gardevoir to use that move and most likely get a one hit KO. I used my Skeptile because um, these gym leaders use Rock type slash Psychic type, so one Leaf Blade probably kill one hit KO, Soul Rock. Lunatone and Clado. So it's pretty easy. The only problem the only Pokemon that gave me problems was the the Umbreon which you're gonna see here in a, in a second. This Gengar too was kind of uh, annoying but nothing really too hard, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, my Skeptile also knows Pursuit, which helps deal some damage, but as you can see here, he destroys his, my, his Gengar, their Gengar. Oh, shit. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm watching the, uh, well, I'm watching football right now. Uh, it's the playoffs right now, and it's uh, Falcons versus 49ers. This is done on uh, January 20th, 2013. And I don't want to go into I don't want to go too into sports, but um, I don't know if you want you guys want me to talk about sports. Anyway, uh, we're back to to the battle right now. Um, and you can see he has uh, Umbreon, which is the only Pokemon that gave me problems, as I said previously. So my Skeptile is about to die, so I'm just going to try to pull out a move before he does. And here I uh, go for the Leaf Blade, which is a good move on my part. So I can take care of that Soul Rock since uh, he has no more Pokemon left. I have to go for the Ghost Ball just to deal some damage. Just wait until my Skeptile dies so I can bring out my other Pokemon with ease. And there he dies. I was, I'm watching the football game and the Falcons just scored a touchdown. That's why I was like, oh shit. Because it was like he was like wide open. Um, Julio Jones from the Falcons wide receiver. He was wide open and 
um, kind of shocked me because it's still the first quarter, very early in the game. And I don't know, they're playing against the 49ers, which has a really good defense, probably like top, top defense. And they get, they just score a touchdown like that. You know, it's cause for alarm for the 49ers if that's gonna happen first quarter. You know what I'm saying? But let's see how it goes. Yeah. Anyway, I send out my main keys. Um, the cross chop surprisingly doesn't do anything. I thought it was gonna one hit KO, but I guess not. It's so weird. I guess I needed to train my man keys more. I surely thought that the, um, the cross chop was gonna go for a one hit KO, but I guess not. If I go for a low kick, see if uh, better results. Surprisingly, it does have better results than the cross chop. So right now I'm just trying to deal some damage, hoping that he doesn't use a full restore. So I just switch into my switch my Gardevoir out because that is not doing any damage. It's a bad matchup anyway. And uh, we go for another low kick, and surprisingly that that's the end of the battle. It's a good thing he didn't go for a full restore there, otherwise we'd be in trouble. And we defeat Kyle and Lisa finally. We received the mine badge. We also get dive. So uh, today, I'm probably gonna put out two videos or maybe three, I'm trying to get this done before I go back to school. And um, yeah. And uh, I go back to school on Tuesday. Oh, so I have two days left of vacation, and today's my day off on Sunday. Right now, I'm just doing these. I'm just commentating on these videos. I have another one. I've I recorded another uh, part, so I'm probably gonna do that the same day after I'm done with this. Here uh, we go to the underwater base of Team Magma. Trying to stop him and shit. Trying to get my um, Pokemon ready. That's some Marine they stole from uh, what's his name, Captain. Uh, I can't believe I can't. I can't remember these names. I don't know why today. Well, Captain whatever, Captain Murphy. Let's just call him Captain Murphy. And. Uh, yeah, so that's the submarine they stole from him, and uh, here we're trying to uh, stop them from causing harm and trying to resurrect uh, Rowdon. So I got two days of vacation left. I really don't want to go back to school. I really don't. So uh, I'm trying to like savor these days that I do have. But not really, because I know these days are going to go by really quick without me knowing. Tomorrow I have to work, unfortunately, so I won't, I won't have time to enjoy the day. And then after that, it's just school. School and work. School and work, the same fucking routine. Pre, uh, what, the f same fucking routine before vacation. And I was talking to my uh, co-worker and... I was like, "Yo, you ready? Ba you ready to go back to school?" Cause he, uh, he, was, he goes to uh, NYIT, and I was like, "Yo, you ready to go back to school?" And he was like, "Nah, man, I really don't." It seems like just yesterday we were talking about we want to get everything done for fall semester, and now out of nowhere, spring semester shows up so fast, and back to the whole routine, back to the whole routine again. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, but what else can I do, you know? What else do you do? 
That's what here was that's what we're here for. As young adults to study, to work. Even though working is optional, but I, I like to work so I can get my paper. So I don't have to ask my parents for money. So I can pay my own, you know, bills. Even though I don't really pay bills, but I pay my cell phone bill, but you know, my other necessities and utilities pay for myself. The only reason why I work, you know what I'm saying? And so I can buy my own video games and things pretty much. Plus, I mean, like, you know, my, my, my job at the organic supermarket is nothing really, you know, fun. Basically, I have to just level or make the store look nice. All the aisles have to be looking perfect. And I basically do the same shit every day. Come in at like 4 o'clock, work till 9. Basically, basically for um, 45 days a week. Work Saturdays. I'm off Sundays because I had to request off Sunday. I'm off Fridays as well. So, yeah, so it's pretty much mon it's a mundane job. Monotonous job. But it's easy, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty lenient too. My bosses are pretty lenient. They don't really stress over what I have to do. They they basically um, if they have they they rarely tell me what to do unless it's uh, you know it's something important. You have to pack out something. But other than that, um, you know, often or not, often than not, I you know they let me do my job whichever way I want they give me you know choice which is good you know I like that because I mean you don't really have to like watch watch what I do because I already do the job well and with anything with school and work I do everything you know top notch which you're supposed to do in order for you know for so you can get yourself accustomed to working hard even though this job is like you know it pays minimum wage you still want to work hard, even though I can like um, not work hard, still get the job done. They will probably won't say anything, but I always I always try to work hard so I can get myself uh, accustomed to working hard, and that will translate into other things that you do in the future, so that you work hard every time, and you just don't want to be lazy and not work hard. And when you get to that point where you're in a career, you don't want to you don't want to work less than what you are doing. You know what I'm saying? You always want to work hard in whatever you want to do, whether it's school, work, your hobbies, you know, playing video games, <laughs> or you know whatever you want to do. You always have to work hard, and I think that's the key to everything: working hard. Um, people always say that the the ways to success are always like having connections. That's that's partly true. I'm not gonna lie, because if I didn't have a con if you don't have connections, then you know you know where are you gonna go. You know what I'm saying? But you you have to have connections, but you also have to work hard. You know what I'm saying? Because you might get a job since uh, somebody you know used to work there. So you get the job, right? And they recommend you. But what if you don't work hard, you know what I'm saying? And they can easily just fire your ass if you're not doing anything. So it's always important to work hard in whatever you do. Like I said previously, I don't want to sound I don't want to sound like a freaking parrot repeating myself. So yeah. Anyway, uh, we're here in the cave. We're trying to get through. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, carry Flash. Well, I didn't carry a Pokemon that uses Flash, so I'm trying to like... I'm just treading through the dark right now. I'm trying to catch this Mighty Yenna, but... To my failure. I really should have edited this out, but... I guess I forgot. This is uh, trivial right here. Trying to get through the cavern and shit. Here we get to a battle with uh, Courtney, Magna Administrator. So 
sends out her camera. I send out my rock marciano. So I can use that earthquake la. One hit KO, of course. You already snow though. Yeah, I, I'm uh, thinking what to do. I forgot what Agron was. I know it's a steel type, but it's also, I think, a ground type. I don't want to go into two into sports right now, but uh, the Falcons look pretty good. Like, like they never been a play they never been a playoff team. Like, Last year they got destroyed by the Giants in the first round. They had a pretty good record, I think. They had like the same record they had this year. Or maybe like one loss more. Some guy just got injured on the sidelines. Um so yeah, I mean the, the Falcons look pretty good, like they beat the Seahawks the first round. Pretty good game, I would say. In a game that was suspenseful. Yeah, I, mean, I never thought the, the Falcons would play like this in postseason. But I guess they're surprising everybody. This might be their year. You never know. Even though I think I'm, I want to root for the 49ers. Well, alright, so my picks for this. for today's games probably be like. Looking at the 49ers and Falcons game, I still got the 49ers winning. I think they can come through. It's only one touchdown away. In the NFC uh, Championships uh, Conference, whatever. For the AFC Conference, Patriots versus Ravens. I want the Ravens to win. I think the Patriots won too many Super Bowls. I think it's time for another person, another team. To get it. So I want you so Super Bowl matchup for me would be Ravens versus Niners. And that'd be interesting because it pits brothers and bro brother against brother because uh, John Harbaugh, the Harbaugh brothers, both coach the Niners and the Ravens. So that would be pretty interesting. Both uh, brothers opposing coaches. Trying to uh, win the, uh, they're battling each other just to win the Super Bowl. That's pretty interesting. Anyway, uh, back to Pokemon. Uh, the video is about to end after this battle, I think. And uh, after this video, probably I think it's when we fight the uh, when we fight Maxi. Uh, we don't fight Maxi in this part because I forgot to um, train my Pokemon because Maxi's pretty tough. Right now I didn't have the I didn't have uh, the right Pokemon to battle him. So we beat Courtney. Countney. As we traverse through the cavern, and we're here. That's um, what, what TM is that? I forgot what team, what move is that? Anyway, um, we see Groudon over there just chilling. Nigga don't want to be disturbed and shit. Oh my god, man, this guy Julio Jones is just destroying this 49ers secondary. So here, 